Hello, it's me, with a little update video. I wanted to do some 3D printing, as you see here with the with the thing on the bottom. There you go, you focus. And I wanted to time lapse it, making some fun stuff, trying out some concepts, you know, like people do, maybe. Well, I am me, I guess. So, uh, I wanted to film the time lapse of some things I created, but then I noticed that my camera, this one, the one I'm filming with right now, doesn't support time lapsing and will automatically shut off when uh, some set amount of time has elapsed, and for this camera, that is 10 minutes, which is way too short. So, I was like, yes, I'll use my phone, like, uh, grab my phone, uh, yeah, this one, I will use my phone to uh, time-lapse it, but I have no way to, like, film with my phone, my 3D prints are at this spot, so I tried a clamp just to hang it above here, but that didn't work. So, what I did is, I printed this. Uh, can we focus? Thank you. This is a clamp, which will hopefully put some... I hope it will fit. So this, ah, yeah, there we go. It fits. My phone. I'll probably need either a clamp or a rubber band. But, which means... There's also a spot here. Focus, you fuck. Let's go to manual. Mm. There we go. Yeah, well, any better than this. We won't get some. But, I can, if I'm right, screw this on top of this bag. Which fits in my tripod. Click, there we go. That sits securely in the tripod. And then I can do some time lapse. So, yeah, I hope you find this interesting and some more time lapsing stuff to come. Oh, um, I've been trying to get this thing off after I printed it, and I obviously don't want to break it. But it seems it doesn't want to come off, so what to do? So I tried prying it. Let's go with a knife. Well, I seem to struggle with getting the thing of my 3D printer. Don't like the wobbling and the weird camera angle. And that'll improve. There we go. And the tripod. Ah, let's see. Don't I move yet? Let's have it closed. There we go. So, you can see when I fuck up. Like, is there actually a good way to do this? Oh, well, that, that, that didn't sound right. Maybe I should just... Do it like this. Like Jesus. Jesus. Fuck me. This must be great YouTube content. Oh, come on. What? 
is this cursed thing? Oh, there we go. It's finally coming off. Oh, I could have done that better. Oh, so let's. There we go. It's really stuck. Well, it's the brim, anyways. So you can see here, this is the filler, it's like the support structure for the printing. I have to get that off in a way without breaking the whole thing. I might need to design it better. Like this is one I took from the internet and reskilled it for my phone. But probably I would have made this part more sturdy, more beefy. Probably be better than. Maybe you could do that like in another YouTube video. Use this design, make it better. Trying to get the support structure. At least it's rigid. There we go. This is probably not the way to do it. It's more of a concept, this. And the way I'm doing it. So, there we go. Fun mount. Get. Can slide it in. So let's see if the thing fits into my tripod. I don't need my tripod to test it. Okay, um, I'll get you down here. Oh, it actually fits. You can see. Uh, I need a second one of these. Maybe I'll just print one of these. Like for this one. Just bold it on. I can clip it in. No, it would be a small idea. But as you can see, it actually fits. So, we'll do something. Uh, it isn't in the sturdy. But we'll do something like that. And then I can actually. Oops, that's right to Around. Probably not the way the person designed it. I'll, I'll link the the actual design in. But uh, ta da, there we go. Now I can do time lapses of the same. Maybe even remotely get like. Get a view of it. Oh, that's cool. This is going to be the video. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.